So what do you do if your patient has congestive heart failure? This mnemonic is known as unload fast. U stands for upright or sit upright. You want your patient to sit up. N stands for nitro or nitrates. These are the types of medications that you're gonna use for these patients. L stands for Lasix. Lasix are diuretics that we use to help to control the amount of volume that's inside the intravascular spaces for these patients. So with congestive heart failure patients, we wanna make sure that they're not too overloaded. O stands for oxygen. Some patients in congestive heart failure need supplemental oxygen. A stands for aminophilin. Aminophilin is a medication used to help improve breathing. So some patients that are in congestive heart failure need a little support. D stands for digoxin. Digoxin is a medication that's helped to improve the heart's ability to squeeze and pump out blood. F stands for fluids. In our congestive heart failure patients, we wanna decrease the amount of fluids in the intravascular space. A stands for afterload, or it's what we refer to as resistance. Anytime the heart beats, it has to beat against a high level of pressure. So if we can give them medications to help reduce that resistance or decrease the afterload, you can help the heart to beat more efficiently. S stands for sodium. What we wanna do is we wanna teach our patients to use lower amounts of sodium in their diet. We know that water follows sodium, and so higher levels of sodium intake means that there's more water in the system. There's more water in the system, that means the heart's gonna work a little bit harder. So always educate your patients to use lower amounts of sodium in their food. Finally, T stands for tests. These are tests that you're going to do for your patient. For your patient that's in congestive heart failure, you're gonna be looking at things like potassium, you're gonna be looking at things like ABGs, and maybe a BNP. These are all important factors in managing your patient with heart failure. I hope that this mnemonic was helpful for you guys in knowing what to do to help manage your patient with congestive heart failure. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.